Hello, my name is Matthew Bonnet. I'm here with Jason Sloan. We're with Cohort 15 of the Guild Hall. Today is January 24th, 2011. We'll be showing you today how to implement a K actor into your level. Essentially, that's a physics object. We'll be using the December 2010 version of UDK. So let's go ahead and hop right to it. You can see that I already have a static mesh within my level. If you right click on it, it says static mesh actor. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to convert this to a K actor. The easiest way is to right click on it, go all the way down here to convert, and convert static mesh actor to K actor. Now let's say that you didn't have the object in the window, so let's go ahead and find it in the content browser. We could alternatively select it within the content browser. You can close it now, then you can right click in the world and add static mesh. I'm sorry, add rigid body. That's what you want. You don't want static mesh. Add rigid body and then whatever the name was. And so now this would also be a K actor. Uh, we're going to just leave the initial one in there. Now, if we go in and play with it right now, let's go and check the properties because it may be of. Yeah. Okay, we'll just go ahead and look at it as it is. You can see it's kind of floating in the air. Uh, as you can see, the rest of my gates are as well. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure that it doesn't float, but it falls. So we're going to go in here and we're going to select our gate. And so this is the properties window for this gate. We're going to tell it to wake on level start. And so what that's going to do is it's going to create, it's going to make the physics work right from the beginning of the level. So let's go ahead and close this. Well, I'll go ahead and explain uh, one more thing. You also have this limit max physics velocity. If you check this, the gate is going to react to physics differently. So you can adjust this number here, this variable. And so it can create slower gravity or faster gravity. It's going to make it appear heavier or lighter depending on what numbers you enter. You also have the stay upright spring. If you enable this, the gate or the object is going to fight to stay on the z-axis. It's going to fight to stay standing up. And it's going to be determined by these numbers here how strongly it's going to fight. Since we have wake on level start, go ahead and lift this up a little bit so where we can see it a little bit better. Go ahead and play from here. And you can see the gate just slammed down and fell right down. It would disappear through the ground as well. Um, we also have these other gates set up. These have had their uh, physics change. So if we shoot this one, you can see they're reacting differently because of the numbers that have been entered in. Alright, that about in ends this video. Good luck and have fun playing with it.